G'day folks. Well, a bunch of people wanted a close-up video of this, uh, I suppose you'd call it a backplane card array from a dental machine or photographic machine made by Agfa, Germany, 1977-ish. Uh, thanks for all the info on identifying these ICs. I probably should have just Googled them myself, but it's more fun to actually get the viewers to interact. And that's sort of why I'm doing this one as well. Uh, the MC668Ls are apparently operational amplifiers. These ones here, can't remember. Um, yeah, they're op amps. Those ones there, can't remember. I think someone checked them. But these little transistors were the main thing. I'm trying to identify the damn things. This is RC107B. That one there. ITT. Hmm. BC, sorry. BC107. Yeah. That one there, whatever that is, is fairly big. Made by RCA. Is that 2N40371? A bit of corrosion on that pot there, but it's a nice old ceramic one. It looks like the trace is intact as well, so the corrosion won't really do anything. The wiper has a carbon brush in it. What card is that? That's number three. Oops, try not to belt the camera around too much. Number two. More operational amplifiers, 1978 apparently. The smaller digits apparently the date manufacture code. The bug zap is going nuts in the background. There's a production code there. I love the way these PCBs are made. Hand drawn, obviously silk screened or screened onto uh, production boards but Originally, these would have been had hand laid out, hand drawn, and made to very high standards. It's even got Agfa embossed up the top there. But yeah, these transistors here, it's hard to tell, some of them are pretty degraded. That one there is BC107B, and that one there. Now in case you wonder what I did to my knuckle, well, linishing belts and knuckles are not meant to contact each other, but unfortunately sometimes they do, and it's not always fun. And that one there, it's 2N. 4918. Hmm. You really need to desolder some of these things to identify them properly. It's an ITT. Six one seven seven eight. G six one seven seven eight, perhaps. That little one there. It's quite tricky. Even these little diodes. GR. Geranium diodes? I don't know. Why would it say GR for a diode? That's interesting. Analog devices. <coughs> Potted module <laughs> looking underneath. Looks like solid resin casting, unfortunately. Mike's electric stuff has a very nice uh, airport security scanning x ray machine. I wish I could find one of these here, that'd be awesome to have in the house. You'd desolder one of these and just put it through the x ray scanner, and it'll come up on the screen as exactly what's inside it. Oh, I wish I could find one of them. 
you just chuck your item in the tub, feed it through the machine and you get a nice little x-ray scan image on the display. But yeah. These little glass top transistors, that one says U189 Eight, six. And there's a interesting symbol on it. We're not going to show up, but yeah, U eight one nine eight six, and a manufacturer's logo, followed by seven eight one four. Okay. 7814 and little glass top ceramic transistors and that one's the same, it's got a lot of them that one there U8198 E followed by manufacturer's symbol Seven eight one four. Yeah, that's what's on that one there. Seven eight one four. I think a lot of these are the same. Seven eight one four. That's probably the manufacturer date though. Nineteen seventy eight, fourteen batch or something like that. But yeah, U U one eight nine eight six. And then seven eight one four. That's one. That's what's on all these glass ones, glass top ones. Just looking at them, they're all the same. One eight nine eight E. Okay, that one's different. No, not. They're all the same. Yeah. U one eight nine eight E seven eight one four. The metal can ones uh, BC 177B and there's some kind of ornate marking on it, manufacturer's marking, logo or something like that. Yeah, B Yeah, BC 177B. No, you won't be able to see much, but I'll try and get a closer image on that one. And again, more op, op amps. 78 must be the manufacturer year. That one there. 2N4918s. Yep, they're all 2N4918s. 16 volt cap, little fat little thing, it's made by. Fro Tunnel, something like that. These metal case transistors, BC107Bs. BC one one seven seven B. Hmm. This is really old stuff. Over my head. This was made way before I was made. <laughs> I was made in nineteen. Oh, I suppose I was born in eighty five. Made in nineteen eighty four. <laughs> miscellaneous crap. There are two small bridge rectifiers, DC capacitors which are 1000 microfarad 40 volt, axial capacitors, and that, what's that one there? 2N2193 Motorola 404 
2N4922, which was, I think it was a voltage regulator, someone said. Two in four nine two one. Interesting stuff and some very nicely made boards. You can see where those resistors got hot. Yeah, pretty damn hot. That one there. It's a 2N4146T. T looks like manufacturer's logo, maybe Toshiba or something like that. Uh, the last four digits are 7801. Again, 7801. That one there. BC 107B. Yeah, 107B. That one's the same, that one's the same. Hmm. Interesting bit of gear. A lot of common components though, they seem to be filling the same role in a different application. These days they seem to pack everything into completely different packages and market it as a different item. But I'm sure they all do the same thing when you add it all together. Anyway. Very nicely made, I'll give it that much. The Germans knew how to make stuff. They still do. And it's some kind of subboard. Again, with ceramic top and metal can transistors. So, yeah. It's a very lengthy, a lot more lengthy than I was expecting. Look at the remains of that AGFA, I suppose you call it dental photography unit, something like that. <laughs> Still don't know exactly what it was for. I know it came out of it definitely came out of a dental surgery. It's part of dental equipment, so we can only assume it's for dental photography. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. There's some really nicely made PCBs in this. I'm gonna keep this as a wall mount display item, cyberpunk type thing. I'll integrate it into the next computer that I mount on the wall. <laughs> Maybe modify these boards so I've got the hard drive and power LEDs mounted on them. Just slot them all back in and use it as it is. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get some better idea of what's on these boards. Uh, a lot of it I have never really had much experience with, especially since it's older than I am. Uh, but maybe some of you old time electronics enthusiasts who grew up with this stuff or went to school learning this stuff. Maybe you can shed some light on what this is and what it does. But these old boards are really nice. Anywho, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a lot more.